I thought the sunset session went really well, but it, 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 it exceeded my expectations of how it could have possibly gone. The idea was to create a really interesting sounding recording that was, while, while being as high fidelity as possible, maintaining like a, a lot of character, a lot of color. I mean, what we didn't want was a bland, boring, modern recording. We wanted a modern recording that was interesting and, and had a lot of character. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely one of the peak experiences that I've had. So this song is, is heavily driven by the rhythm of the piano. We're starting out with the piano and the drums, um, doing a live take, and then we're gonna just continue layering over top of that, doing uh, you know, like tack piano on top of the guitars and, and other things like that. With the piano, we've got, behind it, we're using a, a U67, which is probably my favorite mic that's ever been made. It's an early 60s model, it's all tube, it sounds amazing. And then in addition to that, we have another mic that is basically just arbitrarily placed in the room. It's an SM57 going through a space echo that's timed to the rhythm of the song to, you know, again, enhance like the expansiveness of, of the sound of the piano. And then in addition to that, we're gonna use this tack piano um, as a double uh, to make it even bigger sounding, like a really big wall of sound. We're doing two takes of the drums. One's going to be half time, the other one's going to be double time, a little faster, and then uh, we're going to just kind of split them, kind of expand the stereo image to just give a real three-dimensional um, feel to the whole drum kit. We're using the stereo ribbon mic, the AEA, to get a really open, roomy sound. Using the AEA mic was definitely a star for me. I've never used anything like that, and it just sounded so natural and, and really, really warm. Um, but also really crisp and nice. And then also, we're using the stereo room mic as well, the Crowley and Trips. The Crowley and Trips are going through the Pacifica mic freeze, which have a really open, big sound. And the overheads are going through the DW Ferns, uh, which are two mic freeze, and they have also a very open sound. If I could afford those, I would put them in my studio in a second. We got these very small, very yellow Quested monitors that we were all kind of taken aback by the color when we, we saw them, but they ended up being kind of everyone's favorite piece of gear that we, we used. They're really tiny monitors, and, but they just sounded amazing. And they were easy, easy to listen to, um, but also detailed enough uh, that you could hear really specific fre frequencies. I mostly learned about engineering and recording from doing my own records with Brian and then slowly started to acquire my own gear. I started on a four track that teaches you about signal path and, and mic placement. From there you just you know, move up to bigger machines, you move to an eight track, then you move to a 24 track and learn about mic pre's and learn about compressors. I'm very much a, an experience based learner, that's basically how I learned to record.